Hey, so it's Elliot here. Um, apologies for the sound of my fan. You can probably hear that. Um, yeah, and I've just been doing this experiment this weekend. Um, a bit slow today because it's been a long night. But um, basically, what this thing does is it allows you to do some form of live coding, um, which is kind of important in terms of uh, prototyping because you can um, you can easily um, try ideas out in a much quicker way. Now, for instance, what I can do here is in the drawer, I'll go earth background um, 40. And whenever I hit save, the app will notice that the CPP file has changed. It dispatches um, a script which will compile a shared linked library, um, a shared, well, basically a dynamic library, which is this class test app. So it will compile test.cpp, make it into a dynamic library, and reload it into memory. So I can actually live code with this in some form. So uh, yeah, with. the only problem is that the um, I can only use symbols that are already in memory, basically. So these symbols I've already put somewhere of background of line. I've kind of pre-cached them a bit um, because the executable when it's linked together, when you actually make your app. Um, oh, there you go. I've used a function which didn't exist, so I have to restart. Um, so when you when you make your app, um, the linker will automatically choose which things it needs uh, in the app, and it will exclude everything else. And there's an option to avoid that, so it just includes everything. And we can um, do that, but um, there's currently a bug with OF, or well, there's a bug anyway, which means that we've got duplicate symbols in our um, static lib. So in order to get around that, um, we need to um, we need to sort that out. Otherwise, we can't we can't link everything. So as an example, you can add the line in, and you can see that. Yeah, basically, you can change this code here. Um, whenever I save it, that that event comes in, and it goes into here, and I get this uh, update screen. Right. Um, there's a few problems, of course. So one is uh, the moment you can only use these symbols which you already have announced that you want to have in the, the application. Um, so there's like I've made a list of about 20 of them at the moment, but. If we wanted to really work on this, then it'd be a case of trying to make it so it just loads everything automatically. Um, the uh, test app class, if you create new members in it, which basically means new symbols, um, so rather than de redefining um, the symbols, you're actually changing the declaration. So say you wanted to have like a, a camera or um, or another vector or something, um, so you wanted to add that um, whilst the program is running, Currently, that's, that's kind of like a, an issue because the symbol would be changing, and therefore, what do you do between frames? You'd need like maybe some kind of initialization function. So, if you um, maybe you'd have like test app um, immediate, which would be a function which you could put stuff into, and it would run it once. So every time you saved it, it would automatically just run that one function, and that'd do some kind of management. Um, but yeah, it's kind of good, and you could do really good stuff like maybe like with OpenCV or something like that. You could uh, you could make your entire like path. And you know you never have to recompile the program, and, and all the kind of big code is elsewhere already in the Open Open CV library. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've talked too long, so have a good night.